right, what's up guys? Sean back with another video and Amber Lynn Reed. I usually try to stay like as far away as I can from this cesspool, but I have seen like a lot of videos about her recently, people defending her, people kind of mad at her. I don't really understand her per se. I mean, I know that she's kind of self-centered, all this and that, but somebody sent me this video in my email and they were like, this is what you need to see to fully understand the genius that is Amber Lynn Reed. And plus, she asked for help. Look, here's the damn screenshot. So we're going to check out Apathetic Facts video, who is like my source of intel on Amberlynn and uh, Foodie Beauty for that fact. Her and Dainty are the ones I usually end up checking out. But uh, yeah, let's get right into it and see what the hell made her the way she is. Three, two, one. And my foot was just like dangling. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Yo! Hello! she get her forehead to jiggle like that? Do you think my forehead? No, I'm not gonna finish that thought. Hold on, watch. Oh, this you crazy mother. Yo! Hey, lady! You don't have OCD. You forgot your spaghetti! You have OBCD. <laughs> okay, thank you. I didn't know my psychiatrist was on here. I'm Ashley's darling. That should be my middle name. Amberlynn Hungry Reed. <laughs> Mukbang like life gotta get them dollars off of YouTube. I don't know, I just feel so disconnected. She was like, you're healthy. But you are obese. Ursula. Hello? Is anyone home? Hey girls. Welcome back to my channel. Hey girl. If you're new here, this part of the internet is called Girl World. But more specifically, you have entered the Amberverse. The Amber Turn back now or you will be condemned like me. Amberverse is made up of all different types of reaction and compilation channels called Hater Nation, and Kick gets a bad geese. rap from people on the outside looking in, for being quote fat phobic, which is simply not true. Not all of us. I don't think I'm fat phobic, I think I outrank these people in the fattyarchy or whatever. But a lot of us started off as supporters, but were quickly humbled by the blatant disrespect, ungratefulness, constant lies, the abuse of their animals, partners and audience, and the many many scandals all in the name of money. So if you or anyone you know is new to this part of the internet, or if you're a long time hater and just need a refresher, let's take a look at just some of the many reasons Hater Nation has come to be. I don't think I'm a hater per se. I just think like I casually view it from the outside and once in a while you guys are like, Sean, we need you in girl world. Shit's going down. But yeah, it's usually just the same old thing. Eating and Grubhub halls or something like that. The foodie beast. This first moment that comes to mind is when Twinkie was in pain. She claimed there were no vets around, left her at home alone, decided to go shopping and out to eat instead of getting Twonk the help she needed. Today has been kind of a hard morning at the beginning because I noticed Twinkie was acting different last night. Usually when I come home, she'll like jump on me. Um, she likes to jump on the couch, jump onto our bed and stuff like that. And I realized she wasn't doing those things. What got me really worried is you guys know how um, my bed is on the floor. Mine too, because I jumped on it and that's where it ended up. But uh, yeah, no, your dog can't talk to you. So obviously you're going to have to read the little subtle hints and read the room. If your dog is not jumping or playful or whatever, the vet, you know, if it's that serious, the vet's definitely needed. Even if it's going to cost you some money, you just have to go. I think you wouldn't even jump on that. She went up it like super slow. And then once she got on the bed, she couldn't really walk. I literally sat there bawling my eyes out because she was in so much pain that she was shaking. So we don't really have like any 24 hour bed. That's sad, but look, a freaking Amber is a patriot. You see her waving the flag in the background? Actually, I don't know if it's, that's her. Uh, maybe she was skinny as a kid. Places, which is kind of dumb in my opinion, because you never know what's going to happen at freaking 3 a.m. Tomorrow, since it's Monday, I need to call a vet and it's like an emergency because Twinkie's in horrible pain. I don't know if it's like her joints. I don't know if she like while we weren't home, she like jumped off the couch wrong or I've cried too much about it, <laughs> but I'm just like really worried and call it BS. I don't see any puffy eyes. And if it was that serious, you would take the dog to the vet like right away if you were that upset. And I hope there's something that the vet could say to make me feel better. Like 
um you guys probably are like oh my god why aren't you wearing makeup because like i've been crying and i don't want to wear makeup and i need my face to breathe i'm gonna show michael b patty's reaction to this video because it is how the whole community felt at the time and he also shows how there actually was a vet open right near the restaurant she went to i hope there's something Damn. But also, if she's worried about breathing, she'd be worried about her weight loss. Like her face breathing or whatever. Michael B. Petty, Sean B. Sarcastic. Nice nice to meet you. Thing ...that the vet could say to make me feel better, like... What is... What? What? To make you feel better? Your dog is hurting, dog. Like, who cares about you and your feelings? She sounds like she's in excruciating pain. Like, I'd be more focused on making sure my dog was okay. Not how right? my feelings are. <laughs> Um, you guys probably are like, oh my god, why aren't you wearing makeup? Because, like, I've been- Who ca S Instantly into herself, dude. Like, I- She is a narcissist through and through. Like, immediately after this whole entire sob story, that entire sob story was just to make you feel bad for her. That's really- Agreed. I mean, I think he pegged it. She is very self-absorbed, and I think that's the reason she gets the majority of the hate on the internet she gets. But if she just kind of turned it around, started actually working on herself and doing what she started out to do- with her huge platform, I mean, she's obviously not going to get the honey bun humpers, like, smacking their salami to her eating, like, friggin' Cheesecake Factory anymore. But she'll get some people to follow her. Really what that was about. I don't know. I'd feel so a type of way. Walmart because I had to get oh, we're at Walmart. So we can go to Walmart. Are you really going to sit here and tell me that there Probably is not a 24-7 vet? And I can't. But we're going to go to Walmart. Our, our poor dog was sick, and she can't even walk, and she can't even get on the bed. But we're going to go to Walmart. So... I got recognized for the first time ever at Walmart the other night, and it was a guy. And I was like, what the hell's going on here? There's like two of you watching these videos. And he was like, my girl loves your videos or is obsessed with you, I think is the way he put it. But uh, yeah, no, that was kind of cool, actually. We're at Walmart because I had to get medicine. Becky's always behind me. And I'm also going to get Twinkie some treats, some joint pain treats or whatever that helps with their joints. I don't even know. Those aren't going to help your dog. Okay, you need to take your dog to the vet. Of course, Amber's solution is food. Of course. Damn. Yeah, I mean, milk bones for arthritis. I think that's how it works. Guaranteed in two weeks, save money at the vet. In two weeks. <laughs> you have but two I feel weeks. Like, um, you, put in their water? you were talking you about needing to go to the emergency vet. See, the thing is, I don't know if her, it's her joints. I don't know if it's her hips. I'm worried, though. Like, I can't. I felt so bad leaving her. Oh, but we're going to go out to eat now, too? Oh, okay. They're at Chile. And that is just pure devastation on their face. They're so worried about the dogs that they got three appetizers so the dog could have extra. Please. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do something I never do. Let's see Chili's. No, 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 no. 24-7 vet in I'm Somerset, Kentucky. So about us. Locations and hours. Hours of operation, blah, blah, blah. After hours or emergencies. During office hours, call the regular clinic. And be prepared to dial extension number 30. After hours, the on-call emergency veterinarian can be reached. After hours, emergency... You know how messed up that is that her dog, she's saying, shaking in pain, but she can't even make a phone call just to kind of see what's up? Damn, that's making me like her even less. Usually you could tell how good a person is by how they treat their pet. Fees will apply if your pet must be seen. So it seems to me like it's possible to get your vet, your pet into a vet after hours. Let's see where the Chili's is. The Chili's is a six minute drive to the hospital. I'm so, you know, dude, I can't. The things that take priorities in this woman's life are astounding Bro. to me. I'm not going to buy this whole, we're worried sick, we'll go beyond, I'm the best, best firm. On oh, it's even on the same fucking road. Shocker. Damn, I mean, I would have drove out of state if I had to for my dog. If they weren't open soon enough the next day if i could get somewhere else quicker i would absolutely do it because it, I, it just it hurts to watch them suffer if they're in pain calling amber out on her lies is what a lot of us react hey, i'm the do. old guy but for amber it's much easier to scream fat phobia than to take accountability for her actions becky hi daddy i love you huh she's a she's a hood rat i mean <gasps> you can't say that oh my god it's because she said it. It's because I said it in high school. She def did say the N-word on her blog in the... Shit, we ain't doing that. Sean can't even sing his favorite rap songs. Past. But see, you literally just said in the past. Past. The definition for past is, you know, happened a while ago. Even if it was yesterday. 
past just because she said does she have a spongebob tattoo that's kind of kind of cool actually i didn't even grow up watching spongebob but it's still kind of cool I it on a blog literally back in the early 2000s wasn't everybody walking around saying it black on black on black on black <laughs> Oh, of course you When would. did I become such a blackie? Don't say that. Wait, Jesus. what do you mean? That doesn't sound good. That's like emo. Okay, I've never heard somebody that listens to my chemical romance call themselves a blackie or anything. Racism, burning the flag, that's pretty equal in my opinion because this is our country. This oh, is the United States of America and that flag represents us and who we are. Damn but right. the things that these people are doing, if anything, is actually the same in level of worseness. Do you get what I'm saying? Because for one, just because I did not vote does not mean Donald Trump is not my president just as much as he's yours. Um, I think it's cowardly. She 100% voted for Kanye, but I don't think Kanye would even claim her with his crazy ass. Lee. And pretty immature and a complete waste of a vote if people go and vote, but they're sitting there voting for SpongeBob. They're voting for the gorilla that got shot. Rest in peace. We all love Harambe. him. But that's a waste of a vote. Voting for Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson moonwalking into the Oval Office would have been the coolest shit ever, so you can't say that's a waste. Voting for yourself. People do these things, have done these things, and they did these things this year, but yet I'm getting bitched at because I didn't go waste my time voting. Perhaps one of the most damning moments was when Amber monetized and published a video claiming her ex-boyfriend Casey had her, then wrote a poem admitting yeah. that she had, oopsie, used the wrong word when describing what allegedly happened to her. That's not a word you can wrongly use, and if you're accusing somebody of that and it never friggin' happened? Also, it says ex-boyfriend. When was she playing Tickle Pickle? I thought she was like a gold star lesbian, like never been there before. Um, I've had a lot of like random relationships, like don't even consider them though, but like my first like live-in relationship was with a girl named Cassidy. I feel very um, strongly about this and I feel like it's okay for me to say her name because she's okay. transgender now, so she's not Cassidy no longer. So I'm able to say her name because she's a once was person like we've been together for about three years now at this point and i feel myself slowly i stopped being like sexually attracted to her a little bit after like two come on i don't need to know who's paddling her pink canoe like we don't need to go into details lady let's just sum this shit up already two years of being together it started to dwindle this is when things got really bad um <laughs> Ugh. I don't even know how to share this, but I'm gonna have to. Um, going okay, to. so Cassidy was very sexually strived. Like, is that even a thing? I don't know. She really what thought I was attractive. Mean? She really was sexually attracted to me, and she always wanted to, like, have sex. And I stopped feeling that for her. It made her... Ew. Do not... The ew. No. Shut up, Amber. Made her f***ing pissed. Um... And she would literally sit there and beg me. At first, it was like cute little begs. Like, oh, come on, baby. Whatever. But then as time gradually went on, it became, you're going to f***ing touch me whether you like it or not. Ew. Aggressive with it, huh? I don't think that would ever work in your favor if you came at somebody like that just because you wanted a little bit of hanky-panky. And I was like, you can't force me. And little did I know she can. Um, she would punch me on my arms and she would continuously do it until I agreed to make love to her or have sex, whatever you want to consider it. Um, but I was pretty much being like, that is what I consider it because I continuously would say no to her. Ew. Also, why? I don't think anybody could actually overpower her. So I have a feeling that he is about to have a drastically different opinion on what happened here. So I was curious why, she, you know, about this video. And I was like, what is it? Because I don't, I don't really care what she does in her life. Her life is hers. My life is mine. We've moved on. It's been six years. My fiance told me that she's calling me 
an abuser and a rape. Six years ago, and you're playing like your greatest hits. Like, oh my god, they wanted me so bad. I was so like desirable. Like, they wrote a damn song about me. Isn't there a song about like Jessica Simpson? He's in, I don't know, I forget it. That got my blood boiling because that's not true. But for this video to be posted, it, it pissed, pissed me off to me no too. end. Everything in that video was such bull that I can't even, I can't even describe the bullshit that was in that video. I was- Could you imagine being falsely accused like six years down the line? Like nothing this whole time and then she decides she needs like a nice little sound bite or whatever for a video. So she just starts throwing you under a bus trying to get like some sympathy bait out there. When we start da started dating, I should say, I was 15 years old. 15! When we met. Oh, shit. She's two years older. 15 will get you 20, Amber. You better watch the hell out. Than me. But the things that happened afterwards, I kind of regretted our whole entire relationship. And I hate to say it, but I do regret our whole entire relationship. I do. Speaking Up by Amber Lynn Reed. Let's see. Who does everyone believe? R-A-P-E. Rain and petals eavesdrop. I used the wrong word. Rain and petals eavesdrop. I used the wrong word. Rain and petals eavesdrop. I used the wrong word. My mental hygiene has been rotten and stirred. Not only had she- To be fair, once you get close to 600, your hygiene is not the best thing. But uh, yeah, I, did, I wasn't expecting any potluck poetry out of her, but okay, we got some. He just admitted that Casey did not rape her, but she was then caught mocking that exact poem during a live stream, completely diminishing any credibility that was left. Rain and petals, these drop. Pa. Pa. Is it a song? And then we have the side of Amber that loves to criticize slash critique others, but cannot take criticism herself. This girl in my class is wearing way too much makeup. I might wear a lot, but it looks good. This girl is wearing colors of a clown. All right, girl, like y you can throw criticism at other people. Just expect to get it back. Because you're begging for it with all your lies, manipulation, and just the way you treat people. Like, that energy you put out definitely comes back to you. Dear know-it-all teacher, f*** off. You don't know everything and I just proved it. So shove your college degree up your butt by -och. Sincerely, Amberlin. Damn. Dear bus driver, stop being an asshole. People like me are why you have a job. Get the stick out your ass and come to work with at least a smile. We went into... Bruh, like... Your bus driver is probably the last person you want to treat like crap because uh, your ass ain't getting to school if you mess with them too much. My bus driver in middle school liked me so much he invited me and my dad to go fishing with him. But that's probably just because I'm freaking awesome. Texas for house today and when we went to go sit down there was this girl. You know, to me, it looked like she was maybe like 50 pounds bigger than me. And she was also sitting at a table Lies. with her like chunky friend. I couldn't help but almost like judge this morbidly obese girl. Like I am. Is she allowed to say that? Like, is she allowed to label people chunky when she's got like the Campbell's brand on her back, like chunky soup? I don't know. Sitting there, almost like judging this girl. Like I was more so looking at her, thinking I'm so sad for her. Like I'm sad that she's she's obese. I really almost didn't even want to sit there because. I felt like we were going to draw attention because it's two really big girls and I couldn't stop staring at her. Like, all I could think about is like, I'm so sad for her. Like, why is she eating out? Like, I almost wanted to- Does she not have a mirror? Like, did it get broken? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Is Amber Lynn the most delusional of them all? To grab her and just be like, eat healthy, lose weight. Girls are starting to wear like these shirts. How did she get a gusher necklace? I would have paid for one of them, man. That's fucking nuts. I would have loved to have one of them in my heyday. As dresses, and it don't look good. I've seen it more than baby once. Doll dresses? Huh? They call them baby doll dresses. I understand that, but it, it, it don't look that great. It looks really weird, like something is missing. And especially this one girl in the Cheesecake Factory, like literally we almost saw her butt. So it literally looks like there weren't uh proof or it didn't happen wearing their boyfriend's t-shirt and <laughs> there's nothing on underneath and they're out in public there are girls outside right now that are taking selfies in front of a rock wall 
Are you seriously showing me that? Stop! Who gives a shit? <laughs> I'm gonna be nervous. If I could change anything, it would be like your priorities. What does that mean? I just feel like maybe your priorities are a little off. I took a bite of the mashed potatoes. Ricky is an amazing cook. Sorry, I'm talking about you. Can you nuke a potato in saran wrap? Wouldn't that like get some kind of plastic into it and give you some kind of like, I don't know, I, I think it would kill you faster. It's just you cook things I don't really like. Yeah. Healthy. You look so tiny because I'm like closer to the camera than you. You're closer to the camera and your seat's like way up higher than yeah. you. People always tell me, you know, you look really good with short hair, but I feel like I disagree. I feel like people with rounder, fatter faces look bad with short hair because it makes their face look rounder and fatter. Um, I feel like she just died inside do you think that she put herself closer to the camera on purpose because you could see that she's that much bigger if she was further back i think if they looked the same and uh becky was closer to the camera she wouldn't like that i told you guys that destiny has not gained weight since she's been with me i've said that at least a hundred times didn't she but she has gained weight since she's been with me and when i see her eat something that's bad for her it breaks my heart you try to take it, right? <laughs> because she doesn't understand nutrition like I do. And I met Destiny and she was very set in her weight and she didn't she didn't understand like how to lose weight or anything. And so like I kind of got in that groove where Okay. New nutritionist, new girl, I guess. Uh that's her thing. Amber Lynn, the nutritionist, apparently. She is a health friggin like freak out here i didn't care either because she accepted me and she loved me but of course i didn't weigh in because i said that i'm not going to be weighing in but crystal weighed in if you guys don't know who crystal is crystal is my girlfriend and in two days she Where'd is she down five from? pounds she's down five pounds in two days i know she's not gonna be losing weight that fast like your jealousy is showing five pounds in two days very doable at the start especially at your size she could probably drop like 10 because it's all fluid at first right in a month from now but a couple vlogs ago we went to the emergency room because she was having chest pains and they said it might be acid reflex but we don't think that's the case her symptoms don't seem very acid reflex sometimes it does i'm thinking maybe asthma the appointment kind of rubbed me the wrong way i feel like doctors a lot of the time want to hope the best and she's not just a mukbanger guy she's a medical professional too no 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 why don't you just do the test now because you could be wrong my take on doctors is kind of negative because i feel like some doctors are also kind of lazy. <laughs> they gave her like this pink stuff because they think it's acid reflux. And I literally- They gave her friggin' Pepto-Bismol and you all went to the damn hospital? Really kind of got like an attitude and I'm like, <laughs> really? Acid reflux? It's like, I could come in here and sprain my ankle and they'll blame it on acid reflux. <laughs> I think they're gonna blame it on obesity, but you could think whatever you want, sweetheart. Delusion is a good fit for you. Ugh. This was the worst hospital experience ever. But when they were trying to give, uh, Destiny was trying to give blood, like, the guy had to use, like, an ear flashlight to find her vein. Like, he was just creeping me out. Just that whole thing literally took about 20 minutes just to find her vein. Like, it's really not that hard. Uh, they stuck me like a damn pin cushion in the hospital because it's harder to find the vein when it's under five inches of fat, lady. I'm just being honest. And the doctor's like, so you have a stomach ache? Bam. Blames on acid reflux. Like, I mean, that's just what they do because they're lazy. Like, I was expecting the main doctor to come back in and talk to her and see if she's feeling better, but nope. Just one of his little minions came back in and... That's right. Amber only talks to the head of the damn hospital. And I do feel like sometimes they're a little greedy. And I just want to say that the doctor, the main doctor we saw for less than a minute, was practically falling asleep. I really believe that when you're a doctor, you should be a doctor, not for the money, not for the privileges, not for anything other than the fact that you want to help people. And I just feel like they didn't help us today. I uh, they're a doctor to help people, but they're also there to make some damn money. They didn't go to all that medical school to make McDonald's money. Like, that might be a good thing for you, getting these mukbang bucks out here. You don't have to worry about going to school or whatever. But, uh, yeah, doctors went to school for all that to make money and help people at the same time. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sure you didn't. Like, you can give it a thumbs down if you want because thumbs down those doctors, like. But as soon as Amber is critiqued, criticized, or really. That's what happens without makeup? Holy shit. Damn, I mean, I'm definitely, like, I like this video. If I watched Amber Lynn's actual video, I think I'd rather hacky my own sack. Like, this girl drives me nuts. Anything that she doesn't like is said about her. This is how she reacts. I can't handle the rude comments. I'm, Ooh, I'm not that Brit. strong. I was on the phone. It's kind of like the phone. With some subscribers. These subscribers have been the most rude to me, I feel like. I contacted one of them and... I kind of felt like she needed to know, like, the real me. So, I think I'm gonna end- She's out here just giving random people her phone number? So you guys could get her number- I guarantee somebody shared that. She's had to, like, change it so many times, I bet. And this now, but I just want to answer one question really quick because it's something that I'm getting a lot on my- all my social medias is why I disabled the comments. It's because of the rude comments, honestly. I don't really want the negativity and I just feel so much better with the comments disabled and I'm getting a certain somebody in my comments down below saying like I'm like a chameleon and I don't know who I am. I was one person with Crystal and one person with Destiny which is completely false. There's a I think she does switch up her character a lot. I think it, the room like she could be in a room of totally different people and she'll act totally differently. It's just this whole fake persona she has because she wants to fit in so bad and she wants everyone to like her, but it just don't work that way. Obviously, the way I joke, some people are going to hate that, some people are going to like it, but that's just the name of the game. A lot of different sides of people, that's just how it is having a personality. I don't really know what this person means. I'm definitely not a chameleon. I am myself through and through. Like, I will not change for a single soul. I am me. That is how it's going to stay. And if you don't like right. who I am, just goodbye. I'm a really good person and I don't want anyone to think otherwise. I feel like my IQ dropped from watching this. Wasn't your IQ low? Bye, Felicia. My IQ has definitely dropped today. Low already. Amber Lynn, for F's sake, your head is buried deep in denial's a-hole. Your kidneys are failing, woman, because you neglected to remove your gallbladder stones, which can potentially travel down the kidney ducts and block them. Um, yeah? I To be fair, denial must have a pretty big a-hole. No? Duh? I think the evolution of Amberlynn's double chin is the most interesting thing about this channel. You know, but it could Mine's be gone. bigger. It definitely could be bigger, and it's not, so I think we're okay. I think that's just sums up sums it up. Could be bigger, but it's not. That's what she said. Not. So we're good. I hate that I have to film this video, but it's part of the binge eating saga that is going on. The binge on my beast. channel right now. I am being vulnerable and I almost feel like I'm being mocked. There's just so much disrespect around my eating disorder. The we do not mock the mukbang queen. Obviously, she mocks her damn self. It ain't that hard. Comments are disgusting. People are still calling me a liar about what I ate during a binge day. That's crazy. The people who believe my video, there are a lot of you who are just like, this is so disgusting. This is pathetic. I can't believe you're like this. You do not say that to people with an eating disorder. Eating disorders are not chosen. You don't wait. Okay, let's weaponize our ED and make it everyone else's fault that we're sitting here eating. Granted, I feel for people that do. I, I still don't know if I had one or not. I think I did because I ate so damn much and then I would just eat till I was stuffed. But I kind of just ignored that and just assumed I liked food. Wake up one day and choose to binge, to have that urge, choose to have an eating disorder and have it ruin your life. What messes with me the most is that this is just such a toxic community. This community is so toxic and I did not create that for myself. You're the toxic queen, sweetheart. So go ahead and binge your back out. For myself, a lot of people think I did, but I didn't. It is the reaction channels. For anyone to think it's okay 
to <laughs> literally react to someone with mental illness problems, with indecisiveness because of mental illness problems, someone who has a cycle because of mel mental illness problems, someone who was me like anything to play the victim card and to make people feel sorry for her i feel for her because she gets a lot of hate right but it's pretty warranted like she asked for it she could t totally turn this around and kind of just like control her future and then kind of it'll switch people's opinion of her i think but she's not making any effort whatsoever she just everyone else is the damn problem but her who is morbidly obese because of an eating disorder and a food addiction is unbelievable it's so crazy to wrap my head around that i literally am getting paid for people to treat me as a punching bag because that's literally it people enjoy making fun of my disorder because i'm amberlyn reed i posted a snapchat rant that people expect an apology for and i'm not gonna give it i don't think people necessarily are just picking on her because she's amberlyn reed it's because of the way she treats everyone else for sure literally pathetic and i will go to my grave saying that majority of you are f***ing idiots and i'm not gonna step down from that and you know it your damn self and if you can look in the mirror every single night and be totally happy with yourself that makes you even more of a sociopath so i'm a sociopath i look in the mirror and i think damn buddy you're still fat <laughs> that's sad and I do must have to say, I'm a strong bitch and I will continue to be a strong bitch. And the strong. best part of the whole thing is that these people think that their shit don't stink and they cannot take the heat themselves. I think everyone realizes that their own shit stinks. And I also think that you saying you're strong from all your Kentucky Fried Curls is just friggin' insane. These people are weak minded and that is the reason why it is so easy for them to come for me because like I've said before, I am easy to hate and you are a despectful piece of shit. So I deal with thousands of people doing that on a daily basis and I know it's because I'm fat. If I it's not. It's because of the way you come at people without ever taking accountability. I am doing the same shit, even less, than another YouTuber, but it's okay for them to do it. That's a double standard, and it's because of how I look. It's because I'm fat. The videos with my body as a thumbnail get more so. views. The videos of me eating get more views. But I'm discriminated against because of my weight. If anyone deserves an apology, it is me. I, I definitely don't think it's weight-based discrimination, but all right. I will not apologize for how I felt in that Snapchat rant because everything I said is 100% true. Speaking of binge eating disorder, feel free to check out my Amberlin's Biggest Loss series to see how she claims to have officially been diagnosed for the first time at least three separate times. The reason I point this out is because she would fly into a rage at anyone that didn't get her food and would blame it on what she called the binge monster. When her audience would question if she really had bad, based on what they've seen, she would cry fat phobia. Flash forward to I think she's constantly just gonna cry that she's the victim no matter what here like that's her style 2023 when she clickbaited getting weight loss surgery again in order to get the surgery she couldn't have that diagnosis so what did she do she claimed to no longer have it and even said she didn't think she ever did now that she was denied the surgery once again she is trying to claim she in fact does have the disorder you have to be honest with everything and seeing the dietitian and seeing the psychologist i was very very upfront and honest i have of course because it fits her narrative of like hey i don't have like whatever works for her is what she's going to go with i've been diagnosed with binge eating in the past if you were to binge after weight loss surgery you could get really sick so with the psychologist he was able to see that I was past that stage of my life. The psychologist said, you know, Benjean is eating three times what you normally would as a person. Uh, I've seen this chick bash at the buffet, so I think she probably does have it, 
but when she realized she couldn't with the surgery, yeah, game over. She's just switching it up left and right. Nobody knows what's real with this lady. Not what is a normal amount to eat as a person, but you. I overeat, sure but I never eat three times or four times the amount that I normally would eat, but I don't have issues binging. I am we binging should. and I wanna show you what it is. We have a fry and four. Some of those are missing, sweetheart. So you, she probably already crushed like double that. She's just showing you the leftovers. Mozzarella sticks, which I've already ate too. There it is for you guys. Binging will forever be a part of my life. My psychologist has to beat that in my head that, you know, I'm not just gonna not binge. It's something I'm gonna suffer with forever. Do I have binge eating? So I don't, I do not binge. Therapist said so, I say so. Decide what we have here. Like, make up your damn mind. You're either you either do, you don't, or it's just ugh, Jesus, lady. This is so annoying. The question everybody wants to know is, what happened to the bench monster? Yikes on bakes. Okay, so question thirty is, do what? you think you have binge eating disorder again? Honestly. I don't know. I feel like I have been binging. So I was told when I was an outpatient that you can binge and not have binge eating disorder. That there. Okay, so maybe that's what I was doing then. I don't know. How often do you have to do it to have the disorder? I'm not going to self diagnose myself. I just say I ate a hell of a lot. And that's how I got up over 600. There are people out there without the disorder who do binge? That's like only if you binge couple times a year um but if you're doing it screw that i did it a couple times a week or maybe even a day so i guess i freaking had it a couple times a week then that's when there's definitely an issue and for me it's been happening a lot uh probably the worst my food intake has been in a very very long time i almost want to say worse than it's been in a couple of years. And despite all the backlash because of her lies, mistreatment of her animals, audience and partners, the clickbaiting, gaslighting, and the huge mental toll YouTube has taken on her, she still blames the backlash on her weight and continues the cycle. Why? Because it fits her narrative that everyone is just fat shaming her and all this and that. It has nothing to do with her character at all, when obviously it's the character like faults that make people kind of dislike her and then the fact that it was a weight loss channel and that she's been gaining weight steadily just makes it that much worse so I, it all kind of compounds in my opinion you may ask um i want to talk about like the fear of losing weight because my channel yeah you'll lose money also she has a starbucks earring that's that real basic life has been very much reflected around the fact that I am super morbidly obese. My happy videos, my videos where I'm in a good headspace, they do not reflect the same as when I am train wreck Lynn, troll Lynn, eating Lynn, gaining Lynn. Um, the views do not reflect the same at all. So it, there is a large fear of like, what will my channel be like? when i do lose the weight i get so many uh i think people would support her just for the fact that they've been waiting for it for so long but that money's gonna dry up pretty quick because i'm pretty sure at this point it's just got to be men that would hang out outside weight watchers like looking for women like her or just a bunch of guys that go to bbw conventions and they're like i want to meet amber lynn reed so bad and they're like just super turned on by it many people telling me you're gonna lose all your viewers once you lose weight and stuff like that and that scares me because if that's true it's like okay well this is my job what am i gonna what am i gonna do then obviously i'm gonna have to get i expect all of you to turn your back on me if i start gaining weight and the thing is that i'm such a troll there's been like five different times where i'm like i just want to tell them i gained 10 pounds just to mess with them but then I'm like, nah, everybody would get so pissed off at me because I'm still working in that healthy direction, 315 pounds down. A new job. Honestly, I, I do have a fear of losing viewers because of success. Do I choose health or do I choose, you know, money because I need to put a roof over my head? So do I choose health? Health or hash browns? That's a tough choice right there. 
Are we talking McDonald's hash browns? Because that's a different kind of battle. Or do I choose career? I don't clickbait, honey. Um, plus, I never saw an issue with clickbaiting. Like, I just don't like you because you're. That's right, queen. Go off. I don't clickbait. This is my Grubhub Amazon haul. Yes. Check out my dollar store nail reviews. Sean somehow accidentally made that damn video because he thought he had a woman audience and you guys would like it. And now he realizes why the hell was he watching somebody put on nails? You're inconsistent and you gaslight your audience and mistreat others. Okay. <clears throat> Let's say I do gaslight my audience. Who freaking cares? Who cares? I'm not perfect. I lost 100 pounds by eating rice and potatoes. Uh, rice and potatoes are not bad for you, you guys. Ah, yes, the carb diet. That one works well for a lot of people. Guys, a lot of you have a fear of carbs. Don't. Carbs give you energy. I know a lot of comments are going to be arguing about that with me. Carbs are energy, but then they kind of you get hungry faster because they just kind of burn out you need protein i'm day two on keto right now because i went back to it um i understand i'm morbidly obese i know how to lose weight better than anybody i just don't do it honey don't be scared of right <laughs> but also don't take advice from someone my size so <laughs> if you are watching me because of how i look and the number on my scale it's fat phobia you stupid huzzy, you were a weight loss channel. Of course they're watching you for the number on the scale. You are watching me in awe and you're calling me a train wreck because of my weight. Like I literally got cancer, uterine cancer because of my weight. Yeah, that's terrible. I wouldn't wish that on anybody, but uh, train wreck Tara Masu Lu or whatever, Lynn. Uh, yeah, no, that was probably something where we could actually give her some sympathy for because didn't she have a hysterectomy? Like, that's terrible. I couldn't imagine what she went through in that moment. But still, at the same time, the way she treats other people is why she gets this kind of energy back. It's not because of that or her weight. If anything, I should be like the walking proof or walking like example of what not to be. And to lose your weight but i did this to myself so um i opened this because it said perishable i'm not the fucking problem son of a where the hell is my free coffee cake some of you are it's like i try to do something nice but this is the shit that i deal with outside of the camera that shaming isn't real what do you mean it's fat phobia it's constructive criticism what is that you're sending alcohol to an alcoholic <laughs> i hope you have fun Luxury baked goods were a brand new subscriber who was trying to be nice. Well, damn, you turned another one against you. Way to go. Nobody sent me anything. But, uh, yeah, I wouldn't want you to send me a cake. I'm still on a damn diet. Sitting next to Trump in hell. You don't send a huge pie and bread to a weight loss channel. You don't do it. Um, this I thought she was on the carb diet, though. Potatoes and rice. She lost 100 pounds. This channel is not a weight loss channel, so this is not a weight loss channel, and I just kind of want to stress that to people. It, it's not a weight loss channel. Not a weight loss channel. So if you guys remember my aunt situation, when I uploaded a video about how my aunt doesn't talk to me anymore because I'm fat, they were greatly offended. But at the time, I was vulnerable and I was upset, and I really felt like blaming my weight on everything was just like the easiest way to go. It's kind of sad though. I've never heard of getting a disowned for diabetes. Like I have a weight issue and I have, you know, mental issues that cause me to be bigger. You don't just get this big for no reason. And I kind of wanted to ignore all that and just be like, oh, my aunt doesn't talk to me because I'm fat. I just thought it would be easier. I pushed her away because of just who I am and how I am as a person. It's really not has anything to do with my weight. No, my aunt. Wait, so you made the world, like, kind of turn against your aunt, but the whole time it was just you, like, baiting people to say you pushed them away? Damn, you suck. Aunt, you know, she didn't stop talking to me because I'm fat. She stopped talking to me because of the issues I brought upon her, I guess. Whenever someone asked me, you know, oh, she's gaining weight or whatever, I always just say I'm losing. I, I don't need the backlash. 
at all. I just, I don't want it. I just feel like it's so much safer to just say what people want to hear and what I feel like people will not hate me for. I, I went to the dentist today. So now she's like really numb and in a lot of pain and... It's starting to hurt. It's starting to hurt? Mm -hmm. Oh no. I'm hungry. I ate since yesterday. You should probably get some food. Well, how are we going to accomplish that? Are we expecting her to, like, butt chug some pasta? She can't eat, right? Like, you're not allowed to eat if, when you have your wisdom teeth out. I don't want it to hurt. Aww. Eyeliner adjuster. Y'all, she did her makeup today. Huh? Somebody thought that you had dirt on your face. You actually yeah, think that was serious, babe? Oh, I know they're not serious. Did you take your medicine today? No, I didn't. Okay, go take that. You can tell. Uh, we got the medical professional showing back up here. I can totally tell you to not take your medicine. I care about you, so take that real quick. Thank you, Damien. Uh, how was that rude? Oh my god, how was that rude? That's like what people in relationships do. Someone's like, do you have a crush on Libby? And I'm just like, uh, no. Libby's actually a really, really good friend of ours. Someone else also asked if Libby was a lesbian, and no, she's not, so... Do you have a thing for Libby? And I'm like, oh, she's 15. Who, who the hell is Libby? Yeah, she's 15. She's fixing to be 16. Libby, you want bathing suit? What is with this chicken trying to hook up with preteens? Oh, okay, okay. It's cute. Um, okay, but anyways. Libby, you've been in the shower for half an hour. <laughs> Under the jail. Libby, why do you take 30, no, actually it was like 40 minute shower. So we were at a restaurant. If your son takes a 40 minute shower, do not knock on the door. It is going to turn into an hour long shower. Some random dude walks up to us and he's like, hey, can I sit with you guys? So he like sat with us and we've been talking to him for how long has it been? Like four hours. Somehow we ended up at the beach at night. You have a c between your legs. Congratulations. Okay, so I'm getting comments okay by one particular person saying that Libby hanging out with us is like two straight guys hanging out with a 15 year old I'm like what yeah it's kind of freaking creepy if you are under 18 don't even matter of fact under 25 I don't really want to talk to you that much just because we're in different places in our life I'll still say hi but under 18 it's weird that you're hanging out and just kicking it with her on a daily like i met libby when i first moved here and somehow like every time we kind of like see each other we would click really really well because she is her mature level is pretty high and i had no idea she was 15. she's fixing to be 16 in 11 days like sometimes age does not matter like... good god but age definitely does matter 15 will get you 20 amberlyn reed so uh you need to leave libby the hell alone but all in all like my problem with amberlyn it's just the way she contradicts herself over and over and over. It's always something different. She's always playing a different angle or trying to say what people want to hear instead of, like, saying the truth or just speaking facts. And then she acts like she's so friggin' smart and just this intellectual mastermind who knows everything about nutrition and everything about everything. And she knows how to do this and do that. And she's just friggin' amazing. Oh, my God. When if she really turned it around, focused on her weight actually started working towards bettering her life i think more people would support her than she thinks but she's definitely worried about losing some of that money but that's it for amberlyn reed she asked for my help so uh we checked it out all right guys leave a like leave a comment i'll see y'all later peace